One of the most important things to be grateful. Be grateful for everything you still have, even though you have lost so much. Be grateful that you have a shelter, clean water, relationships, peace, breath and that is because sometimes we are so caught up on what we do not have what we failed to achieve or what we lost and forgot about what we are remaining with una tinkai says she does the dinay ranaka tradition of being grateful whenever she sees a double digits of the clock she would speak all things she is grateful for no matter where she is what she is doing or who she is with she lifts your moods she said guys any good morning it's a Tuesday, so it's Therapy Tuesdays, and I thought I wanted to share something with you that I do. Um, it's not something I do out of choice because I force myself to do it, and it's inspired by Odineo, Odineo Ranaka. I hope you're okay with this, my love, because you do it every day on your show. Um, and what she does is when she sees double digits, because, I mean, we're in the digital age now, right? We're using phones and tablets and everything is digital. Um, so the hand clocks are very scarce. So every time I see a double digit, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. It doesn't matter if I'm caught in an argument with someone or if I'm upset or if I'm in a great place. I stop and I take uh, note of what I'm grateful for. So this morning I woke up and I was missing my dad because he's in the Eastern Cape. We said, doing uh, family traditional ceremonies. Uh, and my mom has been there as well. So I was with my mom and my sister over the weekend. But I woke up this morning and I was missing my dad. And literally at 808, I was like, <gasps> I need to be grateful, grateful that I have a wonderful relationship with my mom and my dad. And it just changes your mood instantly. Try it. T-Squad, what are you grateful for? And that's it for now. Do leave your comments down below. I love you.